Welcome to the Macmillan Report. I'm Marilyn Wilkes, your host, and our guest is Bradley Woodworth. He is the coordinator of Baltic Studies at Yale University, and his research interests include the modern history of the Baltic region, particularly the lands that today comprise the Republic of Estonia. His most recent publications deal with music associations and national identity in Estonian areas in the 19th century, the multi-ethnic, czarist-era bureaucracy in the Baltic region, and the Finnish general and statesman Gustav Mannerheim. Today we'll talk with Professor Woodworth about the Baltic Studies program at the Macmillan Center. Welcome Professor Woodworth. Thank you for inviting me. Let's start with a little geography lesson. Tell us what countries comprise the Baltic area? Yeah. So it depends on the perspective that you take when you, okay. when you consider this region. If you look at it as a geographic region, the, the Baltic Sea region, then it, these are the countries that geographically border on the Baltic Sea. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a list of nine countries, um, including countries that we often think of part of Scandinavia, Finland and Sweden, or Central Europe, Germany and, uh, and Poland. Um, but if we consider it from a political perspective, okay. a geopolitical perspective, a modern one, then the term Baltic countries or Baltic states refers to these three countries of Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, which had all been part of the Russian Empire, but became independent in the course of World War I, and then uh, built states, independent states that existed in mm -hmm. the interwar period. Okay, and what led you to be interested in studying this area of the world? Well, um, it's a bit of a long story, but in, in brief, as an undergraduate, I spent time in Finland and learned Finnish, which was kind of odd, but it changed my life. Mm -hmm. um, and then I studied Estonian at the university as well, um, though my major field was, was, was Russian. So I knew I was interested in the peoples of that region of the world, Northeastern mm -hmm. Europe. It's a multi-ethnic, it always has been a multi-ethnic uh, region. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I completed a PhD in the history of that re region, writing uh, a dissertation about social and political change in the city that is now the capital of Estonia, in the writing about the 19th and early 20th century, okay. and that is Tallinn. Um, so I was there in the early, uh, let's see, uh, that was the, the, the very end of the Soviet period, and it really changed my life, because mm -hmm. I learned, the la I knew the languages of the people spoken there. Um, and then came back to write the doctoral dissertation uh, 10 years later. It must have been a very interesting time to be there with all of the... It was, it was more than interesting. Mm. It's, it's made me who I am as a yeah. person, I mm -hmm. think. Okay, and so you've been at Yale um, overseeing the Baltic Studies program since 2007? And seven. That's right. Okay, and how it's long... It's gone fast. <laughs> yes, it goes by in a blink. Um, so tell us about the program. Well, the program mainly has two aspects. Mm -hmm. um, the first, um, well, first I'd like to say that the program exists because of the incredible generosity of a number of Yale alumni. Okay. Um, and if, if, if I can, I would just sure. like to... Th to uh, Talk well, they, about they, it. They know that I'm very... And that Yale is very grateful mm -hmm. for their generosity. Um, uh, but the first is uh, uh, a graduate of Yale in, in economics from Lithuania, mm -hmm. 1951. His name is uh, Joseph Kaziskas. Mm -hmm. Lived a long and amazing life uh, born in 1918 and, and just died five years ago. Um, also, Dr. Kristaps Kegi, mm -hmm. uh, who is a, has a retired uh, physician and orthopedic surgeon is, and has status as a, as, a, uh, as a retired professor at Yale. Um, he came to this country uh, as a little bit younger person than, uh, than Mr. Kaziskas came with his family, the fleeing Soviet invasion. Mm -hmm. Uh, graduated from Yale College and then Yale Medical School in the 1950s. And then also Dr. Uh, Dr. Yuris Padex, who also gra uh, for, who was from Latvia and came as a, as a, as a young person, mm -hmm. graduated from Yale College and the Yale, then Yale uh, Law School. And all of them have been very, uh, he, he passed away several years ago, and okay. all of them and their families, um, I'm especially grateful to the, to the siblings of, of, of the Kaziskas family, all of them have really uh, made this program part of their legacy. Mm -hmm. um, they were all interested in continuing the study of their, their homelands, uh, loving their homelands, and yet all of them loving Yale as well. So mm -hmm. creating a Baltic Studies program was a way to combine these two, sure. lo these two loves. That's wonderful. So let's talk <coughs> about the program. What are some of so, the... Uh... 
So aspects we have of it. two aspects. One are, is a set of uh, postdoctoral fellowships mm -hmm. uh, for citizens of these three countries. Uh, and then the second main as aspect is we organize symposia, conferences, uh, and bring scholars to, to Yale uh, to speak mm -hmm. uh, to, to the community. Right. Um, so let's see about these, uh, about these fellowships. They began in 2013. Mm -hmm. I went to the Baltic region um, in the couple of years before that to, to find out exactly how these donors' money could best, and they best help the, uh, the, both Yale University and also those countries. All sure. of them saw these fellowships as a way to bring talented young academics from the Baltic region, give them experience at Yale University mm -hmm. in, in the United States, and then have that uh, added burnishment, that, 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 that added part of, of, of their careers enable them to, to do even greater things mm -hmm. back in how the many, homeland. How many postdocs come so we've had year? 16 uh, have every year. Well, uh, so we have uh, the two fellowships, one named after Dr. Kozitskas, mm -hmm. who, um, or that is that fellowship, is for citizens of Lithuania. Okay. Uh, the other fellowship named after uh, Yuri Spadex is for citizens either of Latvia, of where he was from, or Estonia. So the, the number of scholars varies a little bit every year because we have, we have funds to have two people for the full year, but sometimes, depending on the length of time that a scholar would like to stay, sometimes they, they only can stay for one semester. Okay. So we have varied between two and even, and even four. Uh, we've had four this last year, mm -hmm. and, and we'll have three in the coming year. Okay. All told, we have brought to Yale 16 people uh, mm -hmm. from the Baltic countries, um, seven from Lithuania, five from, Lat fr five from Estonia, and four from Latvia. Mm -hmm. And do they do research while they're here, and do they also teach classes? It's, it is only research. They, only are, research. they, are, okay. they are research fellowships. That is okay. what we want them to do. We want them to further their projects. Most of them are working on a book, mm -hmm. uh, a book project. Um, and th there are very few <laughs> requirements of the, of, of the fellowship. I feel like also I'm hoping that people will, will, will watch us and, and mm -hmm. also be interested in, in having this uh, amazing experience. I mean, th the fellows come um, usually not having visited Yale before, and mm -hmm. it, this is an amazing place. And the things that, that you can do and the people that you can meet really, mm -hmm. really are, go beyond what the, the fellows that even imagined could happen. Right, right. Um, but w all we require is that they, they g give a presentation at the end of their stay mm -hmm. um, about their research and then just spend all of their time working. Mm -hmm. So it's not a teaching fellowship, just research. Okay. Um, and <coughs> what um, are the scholars working on um, who are here now? What are their projects? Well, we have, uh, so we've had three that, that have been here uh, earlier this year and have, mm -hmm. and have now left. Um, uh, we had Johan Hellerman, an Estonian who is a philosopher mm -hmm. uh, and was working on issues of temporality, which oh. I tried to understand from his, <laughs> from his presentation. Um, and then we had a new PhD from Latvia uh, named Maya Spurina, um, who looks at national memory in Latvia, is particularly interested in, in some of the darker parts of, uh, of, of Baltic history. Um, there was like an, what? Well, there was a rise of authoritarian, political authoritarianism in the 1930s, and then um, all three countries, particularly Lithuania, but also Latvia, mm -hmm. were, were devastated by the Holocaust. All of, all of the countries had Jewish populations, sure. and those populations were completely decimated over the course of the war. Mm. Um, so she studies the, uh, the issues connected to what Latvia is today and its picture, its, its self-image, mm -hmm. um, in, in light of that past. Okay. Um, and we have two, so she was from uh, Latvia, and we've had two Lithuanians. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mindaugas Shapoka, who studies a war that I think few in this country have heard of. It was called the Great Northern War. <laughs> it was okay. the first quarter of the 18th century, and it was, how could I, what, what could I say about it? It was a war that, that actually diminished Sweden's power. Sweden used to be, in the 18th century, a great world power. Sure. Um, and at the same time, Russia then rose under the Peter the Great to become the, the, the major power that it did in the uh, 18th and 19th century. So he, studied, he studies that war, is working on a, uh, on a new history. Um, so he was here for most of the year and just left. And we have one Lithuanian still here. Um, her name is Monika, um, Monika Konradniauskaita, and she studies criminality both in Lithuania and um, in, in the Soviet Union. So she'll be giving a presentation in about a month. 
Okay, and we're at the end of um, the school year, mm -hmm. uh, the spring semester. I'm wondering if you have identified the people who will be coming have, next in the fall. We who have, are and they? actually this will be the first time we've publicly announced it. Okay. Um, Although I've let the, the, the Kaziskis family know because we have uh, two Lithuanians coming in, in January, uh, Stanislava Stasiulis, who is a, a historian, and he'll be studying the memory of the Holocaust in, okay. in Lithuania, both from the period of the war into the present. Uh, and then we have, so he's a historian, we have a political, science, uh, political scientist coming named Vitaut, Vitautas Kuokštis, and he's interested in very different issues. Um, a political economist, really, and is interested in in, in currency reform and how in the Baltic region the political, the economic crises of this past decade ha have been dealt with. Okay. Um, and then in the fall we're bringing an Estonian here, uh, Marilis Jakobsen, mm -hmm. and she's interested in voting patterns of Estonians who do not live in Estonia. Ah. Uh, so in Estonia uh, as well as other Baltic uh, countries, peoples who are of that ethnicity have, a, have voting rights. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's interested in why so few of the Estonians um, who could participate in, the, in these extraterritorial extra elections do not, in fact, do so. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's interested in sort of um, a, a, a worldwide phenomenon right. of the spread of Estonians That's throughout other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, so uh, what does the future hold for Baltic studies? How would you like to see the program expand? Well, um, in the coming two years, we're going to be expanding, particularly with regard to programs we're, we're going to hold. Um, now that we've had 16 uh, wonderful young scholars come to Yale this fall in November, mm -hmm. we're going to have our first reunion oh, conference. Really? Yes, we're very excited about it because while we in the McMillan Center have been able to meet all of these scholars mm -hmm. and become uh, friends with them, uh, some of them know each other, but not that many. So we, what we'd really like to do is have a, have a network right. of young scholars throughout the Baltic region, all of whom have had this amazing experience yeah, at Yale. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, and, so, and then at the same time, we'll bring um, members of the families of our donors mm -hmm. so that they can be able to meet, uh, meet these scholars. Exciting. Um, yeah. And then in the spring, uh, we're going to hold a conference uh, about uh, documents that the KGB left behind. Mm -hmm. At the end of the Soviet Union, that's when all of these three countries regained their independence um, in 1990 and 1991. Uh, this past December, a fairly large tranche of documents were really discovered in, in, in Latvia, had not been seriously mm -hmm. looked at before. And a lot of these that were left by the KGB, mm -hmm. and a lot of these documents have the names of fairly prominent people within Latvia. Mm -hmm. In other words, at least the KGB was saying, we have contacts with, with many uh, of your citizens. So what we'd like to do in this conference, and it will be either January or February, is bring specialists um, who know these documents firsthand. Mm -hmm. <coughs> a number of Latvian historians are in the process of, of publishing some of these documents for the first time. <coughs> and then talk about the way that these societies have dealt with this this, this, this dark inheritance. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any of the documents yourself? I haven't. No? I okay. haven't. So it'll be a new area for me. My, they, my research, as you discussed in the beginning, has been with the period over a hundred years ago in the mm -hmm. Tsarist era right. and, and earlier. Um, and then later in 2020, in the fall, I'll be collaborating with a leading Lithuanian historian, Darius Stalionas, at the Lithuanian Institute of History, to have a two day conference in which we will re examine the issue of multi-ethnicity. This, this region mm -hmm. is inherently a multi-ethnic region. Even right. though today these three countries carry the names of a particular ethnic group as nation states, mm -hmm. the populations that have lived there have always been mixed ethnically and, and also religiously and linguistically. Mm -hmm. um, so we'd like to see if we can come up with a new way of, of looking at this region that is not predetermined by the ideologies of, uh, of of either nationalism right. or uh, an imposed Soviet uh, friendship of peoples. Right, right. Sounds like a lot of good things to come for Baltic studies. So we'll, we will look forward to seeing more from you in the in the near future. Thank, Thank you, you for being here with us Thank today. Thank you very much. Okay. For more information about Professor Woodworth and his research, please visit our website at macmillanreport.yale.edu. Be sure to join us again for another episode of the Macmillan Report, made possible through funding from the Whitney and Betty Macmillan Center for International and Area Studies at Yale. Thank you so much. Thank you.